Pyongyang residents are making noise on social media over a proposed dog breeding facility that's looking to set up shop in their town. This facility would be in Yates County on Porter's Corners Road near Route 14 Hay. Ahead of tomorrow's public meeting to potentially approve the plan, Selena Lewis explains how community members, the Humane Society, and lawyers for animal rights activists are fighting back. Selena. Penyan residents are furious over a proposed dog breeding facility looking to operate in their town. The puppies are being sold for love to loving families. They may do okay, they may be traumatized, they may be sick, but they're going to get out of there. It's the breeding females and the males who are suffering a life of just pure sexual slavery, really. And we need to speak for them because they can't speak for themselves. The community should be known for its beautiful lakes, its thriving culinary and, and wine industry, and not be associated with some dark, backwards industry that operates in the fringes. Um, and as a community, I think it tarnishes our brand and our image, and I think we can do better. According to the permit request filed by Wayne Sensenegg, he is looking to keep 75 breeding females at this property on Porter's Corners Road. Just across the street, another permit was requested by Wayne's father to sell up to 500 puppies a year. The applicant, John Sensenegg. John was previously convicted in Pennsylvania for animal cruelty charges stemming from inhumane conditions at the breeding facility he operated down there. He was shut down in June of 2017. In May of 2017, charges were brought against him for animal cruelty by the Pennsylvania authorities. And within a matter, less than a month, he walked over to New York State and opened an application, I think it was August 11th, here in town of Barrington. Susan Hanna Losk, who does pro bono work representing puppy mill opponents, is urging residents like Lisa Connolly to show up to Tuesday's town meeting to fight this. Now, I spoke today with both Wayne and his father, John Sensenig. They both insisted that they've done nothing wrong and that the conditions at both of these breeding facilities and the retail that they want to set up are completely humane. Wayne declined to speak on camera with us when we went out to that property today on Porter's Corners Road. He did offer us a tour, however, only of part of the facility. We saw about six of those 75 dogs that are currently being housed and breeded there. Adam Horing. All right, Selena, thanks.